President Barack Obama has sipped a glass of filtered water on a visit to the Michigan city of Flint, which has been racked by a public health crisis. He he took a drink of the city's filtered water to show it was safe. The visit was prompted by a letter the president received from eight-year-old resident Amariana Kopany. A change in water supplier in 2014 sparked the crisis, with nearly 100,000 people exposed to high levels of lead, sparking an outcry. Mr. Obama declared a state of emergency for the city in January and ordered federal aid for the crisis. Filtered water is safe, and it works, he said during a discussion with officials in Flint. Working with the state and the city, filters are now available for everyone in the city. More than 40% of Flint residents are impoverished and more than half are black. Residents must use faucet filters or bottled water as a result of the crisis. Michigan Governor Rick Snyder has been criticized for his handling of it and two state employees in the Environmental Department have been charged with misleading the U.S. government about the problem. And a Flint employee is being charged with altering water test results. Mr. Snyder was booed by the crowd at a high school where Mr. Obama is due to deliver remarks later. Let me begin by saying I understand why you are angry and frustrated. I want to come here today to apologize, he said. Protesters gathering near the school are chanting Flint Lives Matter, arguing that state officials' response to the water situation was not enough. The Michigan Senate approved $128 million, 88 million pounds, in aid for Flint on Wednesday. Some of that money will go towards replacing lead pipes connecting water to customers.